Hi everyone, welcome to Brooklyn Point. Today we're gonna to walk the project with the developer, the only Gary that matters in this city, Gary Barnett and his broker, Ryan Serhant. Let's go. I think this, I think this, this is amazing right here. Mm -hmm. Point out the, the juxtaposition of the copper and the different colors and the work in the ceilings. This elevator is really beautiful. People always walk into this gym and their jaws just drop. Here, this is an incredible space to do an amazing gym. I mean, you don't get gyms like this in Brooklyn. You just don't. So there's cardio, there's Pilates, uh, there's a spinning room, there's a rock climbing wall on this floor. There's a lot. This yeah. is this, that's what we did here at Brooklyn. We brought the, the best of Manhattan, this spectacular kind of quality and design and amenities that we do in Manhattan on Billionaires Row, and we brought it here to Brooklyn for a fraction of the price. So, oh, look at this. <laughs> is this your first time seeing it? Yeah, you don't want to Welcome see to your own building. <laughs> Welcome. So I just want to uh, understand the logic behind taking this much space and creating a rock climbing wall like that maybe six people will use throughout the year. You'd be amazed how many people uh, use it. And, and it's great for kids, for parties, right? So it's something exciting, something different to do. So it actually works. Most of the times you can't get this kind of volume of space right. for a rock climbing wall, right? right? We're fortunate. We have, you know, large site, big building, and we were able to do it. Pre-COVID, one of the most uh, fun gyms to go to in Brooklyn was Brooklyn Boulders, mm -hmm. which now is no longer, right? So we've actually had a handful of people say, you guys have a rock climbing wall? Right. That's how I work out. Mm -hmm. And so they've been interested in this building specifically because there's a 30, wait, 30 feet? Yeah, yeah. it looks like 30 It's feet. a 30 foot rock climbing wall with all the stuff. This you definitely don't get in Brooklyn. This is a 65 foot long saltwater lap pool that is brand new. Like they just finished scrubbing every yeah, little exactly. mosaic tile. Beautiful. So you have a jacuzzi hot tub there. You're flanked by, um, uh, you got the different men's and women's locker rooms. It's nice. You know, everything is really finished beautifully with beautiful design, beautiful taste, the ceilings. These are just really, really nice details that we've worked with a very good interior designer, Catherine Newman, but we, we kind of work with her and we give her free reign to do this kind of beautiful work. I think a lot of people would say your probably your greatest attribute is that you're able to get the financing when it's so hard to get financing for projects and you always manage to <laughs> pull a rabbit out of the hat, even in 2008 and 2009 when nobody was able to get financing. Part of it is I think that the banking community uh, appreciates and knows that we're focused on finishing our products, delivering a beautiful product, sticking with it, if there's any problems we're there. So we have a good reputation with the banking community and that's helped us enormously. And you know, so far so good, you know, thank God. Have you seen this yet? I saw, I saw, yeah. I saw the basketball court. It's actually pretty nice. So it's a half basketball court. It's not half, it's like about an eighth. It's a, it's, it's a quarter it's good enough. basketball court. But then it's this interactive squash This is a three, this is a three point shot. For me it's a three point shot. Yeah, no, that's a three point shot. Yeah. This is interactive squash. So using the ball and using the squash paddle you can play a lot of different games. So this building is, is, is really perfect for post-COVID living. So you can do everything here. Plus you're on top of the city. But this is a nice court. You could play a good, good game of basketball. You could play two on two here pretty easily. Yeah. Three on three would be a little, you a little squeeze. We're putting in, you know, real stone uh, architrave. What should, what should I call this? Which whip apart? This, this, Just this the archway? Thing, the archways, yeah, okay, archways. Is, I think it's a fancy name. This is, for... this is like that episode of Seinfeld where the yeah. electrician says, the holes, the holes. It's like the developer is like, <laughs> exactly. Hey, what? Well, this is, this is too fancy. I'm just a simple developer. Hey, this is, this is a real estate pro broker. You describe it. Pretend you're trying to sell me something. Uh huh. <laughs> Welcome to the greatest hallway in Brooklyn. Let me take you to 51D down here. Go. I'm going to show you a three bedroom that is going to blow your mind. All right, there you look go. Look at the view. Look at the view. Look at, look at the view. We are in the clouds right now. But look at look at the bedroom. Oh, the three it's it's beautiful. Five inch wide. White look at the closet. Floors. Yeah, closets are big. Bathrooms are gorgeous. And, and views what, are huge from every why, unit. Why is five, why is five inches uh, special? It's wider. Yeah. Wider is more expensive. You can't get the 
you can't get the wood. It's, you know, when you, yeah, you it need- It symbolizes luxury. You need large timber. Is this beautiful bathroom? Yeah, shower's big, rain shower, gorgeous stone, gorgeous cabinetry. So this is a comparable three bedroom, um, a little bit bigger, but this is the lighter finish. So you've got the different hardware here, so buyers can choose. The views here are wild. Like you've got ocean here and you're looking all the way across Brooklyn out towards Long Island. But we're so high up right now on the 51st floor that this is this is your view on a nice cloudy day. What's the top floor in this building? 68. 68? Yeah. So this isn't even that high. You have everything you want here. You have a very nice uh, seating area for, for, for dinner, beautiful open kitchen, nice seating area here with the most spectacular views and really open. And then you got three really nice bedrooms. So you have everything very, very efficient and it's a super, super deal. You can buy this for less than $3 million. So go, go find a three bedroom like this in Manhattan for less than $3 million and you have a 25 year tax abatement. <laughs>